Welcome to Session 3 of our Corel Draw Question Series. I'm Roger Wombolt, Senior Product Trainer at Corel. In this video, I'll be answering questions submitted by CorelDRAW users on a variety of topics. If you're watching this on YouTube, click on the link in the description below and go to our tutorial page. Here, you can download a written copy of this Q&A session and submit your own questions to be answered in an upcoming video. Let's begin. How can the photos placed outside the workspace appear on every page? A change was made to CorelDRAW during the CorelDRAW 2019 cycle, and we now keep the objects associated to the layer that they were created on. As such, if you drag an object off the page or import an object and place it off the page, it will still be on the layer that is specific to that page, and when you move to a different page, you will not see it. For example, if I drag this element off the page and go to a previous page, you'll see it's no longer visible. Let's go back to this page. I'll move the object back onto the page. And now in the options, select or rather deselect, keep desktop objects on the layer. Now, when I drag this object off the page, if I go back to a previous page, you'll find that it's still there. Is there a digitizing application for embroidery in 2019? And if so, how can I get to it? Embroidery Studio 4 is the ultimate embroidery and multi-decoration software for professional digitizers, embroidery shops, industry trainers, and educators. It was created by Wilcom and uses CorelDRAW as the design engine. To purchase this, visit wilcom.com. Why do your products require Internet Explorer 11 and why is it needed? The framework of the sign-in process and communications require IE11 updated libraries to provide the most security when online. Internet Explorer is also used for the help system as well as other aspects of the Get More screens. I use CorelDRAW X8 and engrave on the epilogue laser. To get a 1 inch letter, I need to tell CorelDRAW to make the letters 1.125 inches. What's causing this and how can I fix it? What a great question! When placing text on the page and resizing it, you need to remember that measurement is not that of the font, but rather the line height, which also includes the area called internal leading. This space not only allows for ascender and descenders, but also for accents such as grave, acute, umlaut, just to name a few. If I design a brochure with pictures and text to page size A5, for example, is it possible to adjust the entire contents to A4, including text size adjustments? I select all the elements and adjust the size. Pictures, obviously no problem but text remains the original font size. The text is in frames. It certainly is possible to resize a design and have the text resize as well. If you have artistic text in the design, it's simply a matter of selecting everything and then resizing. In your situation, you have text in frames, also called paragraph text frames. To resize these and the text within, simply hold down the Alt key while resizing. I'm going to double click the pick tool to select everything on the page. With the Alt key held down, I'm going to resize towards the center. I'll let my mouse button go and it will automatically update the size of everything to include those paragraph text frames as well. I'm a beginner and I want to learn how to use CorelDRAW from the ground up. There are a number of different resources available to help you build a better understanding of the tools and features within CorelDRAW. Starting off with the Quick Start Guide, the Hints Docker, and of course, there is the Learning tab in the Welcome Book that has a section of tutorials and link to the Discovery Center, where you will find even more tutorials about CorelDRAW. There is my course that is available through LinkedIn Learning, and while it was updated to include CorelDRAW 2018, it will certainly be very pertinent to learning the basics in whatever version of CorelDRAW you're using. How do I make a wreath on CorelDRAW? 
I want the same one multiple times, but each time slightly bigger. However, I want it to stay the same thickness as the smaller one. There are outline properties that can be set in Corel Draw. To modify these, select your object and then double click the outline swatch on the status bar within Corel Draw. This will open up the Outline Pen dialog box. Here you can change a number of parameters such as color, line thickness, how corners are handled, the position of an outline, and there are these two here. Fill behind as well as scale with object. Selecting the scale with object will increase the outline width as you increase the size of the object. If you wish the outline to maintain the original width, then have this option deselected. Then it's simply a matter of duplicating your object and you can make it larger. Control D again will remember those steps. Why is the export command not working? There are two scenarios where the export command may not be working. The first is that if the user is using a trial version of Corel Draw and it has reached the end of the trial period, at this point Corel Draw becomes a viewer only and save, export and print have all been disabled. The second scenario is if the object is on a layer that is set not to print. This will disable the export function. Think of it this way, exporting is a form of output and so too is printing and that's turned off. With this object selected, if I click on the export, it will allow me to select a file format. When I click on the export button, it's going to open up the export dialog box. In here, you'll find that this is blank and therefore not allow me to export this. To overcome this, simply a matter of going to the layer and turn on printing. And of course, now if I go to try and export this, it will allow me to export the file out without issue. I have a little job to do and no idea how to start. I need to do numbers from 1 to 300, 20 centimeters high each, and to save me time I would like to do them automatically, not typing each one in. So should I use print merge or is this not possible to do? It certainly is possible to do this with print merge, but a quicker way would be to use the page numbering. Here's how I would set it up. I'm going to start by creating a new document. I want to set my number of pages to 300. My page size is going to be 19 by 13. That will allow me my 20 centimeter number. And I'll simply click OK. You'll see that it's created a 300 page document for me. I'll go to my layout menu, down to insert page number on all pages. Now I'm going to take this page number. I'm going to adjust the height of that and I can use mixed unit of measures in here. So although I'm currently in inches, I'm going to type in 20 cm. I'll tap the letter P on my keyboard. That's going to center it on the page. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my number or my text is center justified. And that's all there is to it. If I go into page sorter view, I can see that I now have 300 pages each with their own number centered on it. Now, assuming I want to maybe change the font size or font color, again, double click the piece of text. I can change the font. I'm going to uh, grab college and maybe make it red. And going back into page sorter view, you can see that I now have 300 pages using the college font in red. That brings us to the end of session three. Again, if you're watching this video on YouTube, click on the link in the description below to go to our tutorial page. Here you can download a written copy of this Q&A session and submit your own questions to be answered in an upcoming video.